Well, a quick resolution. I think um, um, it's a little bit of diplomatic speak. Uh, both sides want a quick resolution. Uh, the, the new government of Japan, under the Democratic Party of Japan, wants to honor its uh, campaign promises to the people of Okinawa, uh, probably in a reasonable amount of time, whereas the U.S. wants to <coughs> resolve the, uh, the discussion over its basing in, in Okinawa in, in such a way that the agreement that was worked out between the U.S. and Japan under the previous Japanese government doesn't change. And, and the U.S. gets the type of basing agreement that uh, was originally agreed between the two governments uh, back in 1996. So um, uh, I, I think the, uh, the, the more important issue is that um, the, DP, the new government of Japan does what's necessary to accommodate the interests of the people of Okinawa who uh, are, are quite upset and have repeatedly demonstrate their opposition to certain of the bases and uh, are looking for more equitable treatment both from Washington and from Tokyo. So uh, it's an issue that's been going on for many, many decades and it's, it's not going to be resolved anytime soon. Hatoyama, the Prime Minister of Japan, is talking about uh, maybe working on a resolution sometime by January or after January once local elections, certain local elections take place in Okinawa and there's some calls in the Japanese press and calls in Washington to have the issue worked out by the end of the year. But uh, I, think, um, I, I think it's going to take uh, a bit longer than that. And there's another important point, which is that uh, how the basing issue gets resolved in Okinawa uh, may have implications for the entire U.S. presence, um, not only in Japan, but uh, possibly throughout uh, East Asia. So, um, and there are many, there are many parts to that uh, uh, basing decision uh, involving Guam, involving U.S. forces in South Korea, uh, in addition to the U.S. forces already stationed in Okinawa. So, uh, exactly what type of forward basing presence Japan is willing to host in, in Okinawa or in, throughout the rest of Japan, uh, I think is, is an issue that's going to be visited again and again um, in the time to come. Well, yeah, that was a, a statement that came out of the press conference yesterday between uh, Hatoyama and uh, President Obama, Prime Minister Hatoyama and President Obama. So I, I'm not sure what that means at the moment. It, it may be um, some diplomatic window dressing to um, represent the fact that substantive discussions will also have to take place between Japan and the United States on a fairly regular basis. They've been taking uh, substantive discussions take place regularly uh, anyway at uh, lower cabinet, lower ministerial levels, and also the leaders of the two countries uh, meet fairly regularly, um, either in their capitals or at international forums. But uh, the DP DPJ, the new government of Japan, has a new agenda, a new foreign policy agenda that it wants to implement. Um, as the days and weeks go by, it's it's becoming clear about certain things that they want to do and, and other things remain unclear. So uh, I, I think at the end of the press conference that was held yesterday, I think both sides are, are simply trying to indicate that, yes, serious important discussions need to take place on a regular basis. Um, uh, Japan to understand what Washington wants to do, Washington to understand what Tokyo wants to do. Um, I, I don't think there's any particular significance to the, to the one-year deadline. Uh, if there is, I'm, I'm sure we'll hear about that in the days to come.
Uh, I don't have any information. Uh, as far as I know, the uh, the uh, the investigation, the examination of the secret basing agreement concerning the transport of nuclear weapons, uh, U.S. nuclear weapons through Japanese territory is is ongoing. Um, but uh, once again, there's another, there's a larger issue involved, and that is if you take things like um, democracy seriously and, and public uh, input seriously, and if you take uh, government uh, statements, government promises to the public seriously, then this is a, an investigation that is important, and um, the new government of Japan uh, intends to undertake seriously, and I think is interested in getting some cooperation from, from Washington. Uh, the Obama administration, if we reference Iraq and, and uh, Afghanistan for a moment, the Obama administration, uh, just as the previous Bush administration, said that it, it wanted to look forward. But uh, this new government uh, seems to be a government that wants to, to look backward and uh, see what kind of relationship existed between the government and the Japanese people in order to uh, restore some uh, a much stronger, much higher level of trust between the government and the Japanese people about uh, not only the nuclear weapons issue but other important foreign policy issues.